What is going on guys welcome back to the python tips and tricks tutorial series in today's video we're going to look at different ways to reverse a list in python so let us get right into it now we're going to look at four different ways and the first one is the manual way the most inefficient way the most tedious way but we're going to look at it in order to see why the other ways are so much uh, more efficient and so much easier um, it would be to just have a list of values here and this list of values is one two three four five six seven eight and what you want to end up with is a list that looks like uh, eight, seven, six, five, th four, three, two, one. This is the goal. We want to reverse the list and print it or do whatever we want with it. Um, and of course, we can do that by just iterating over it and swapping the values. So we can just go ahead and say ref list equals so reverse list equals empty list. And then we're going to say for index in range length values. So for all the positions that we have in the list, what we're going to do is we're going to say reverse list, ref list dot append, and we're going to append the values or the value that is at the index, which is the length of the list minus the index that we're already at minus one because it's the index and we start at zero. Um, and by doing that, we take the first element, put it at the last position, or actually we take the last element, put it at the first position. Then we take the seven, put it at the second position. We take the six at the third position and so on until we have the reversed order. And when we print that, you will see that it works. Ref list, you will see that it works. We have the list in reversed order by just running a loop, creating a second list and uh, just swapping the indices. Now, this is a very tedious way, a very manual way. You would not do this in Python because you have much easier ways to do that in Python. Now, the other three options are actually very similar. They're one liners, all of them, and they're very efficient. I don't think that there is much difference which one you use. I think that all of them are pretty efficient and doesn't really matter which one you decide uh, to use. But the first one is to actually use the reverse method in Python. So you have again values one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what you do then is you just say values dot reverse. I don't even think that you need to assign it. I think it happens automatically, not just print, sorry, print values. Yeah, as you can see, the reverse method uh, you don't even need to return it. You don't even need to save it like values equals values that reverse. You just see values that reverse and it gets applied to the list directly. And after that, you can print it and you have to reverse order. So this is one way to do it. Another one would be a very similar one. You don't use the reverse method, but you use the reversed method, like with a D in the end. Um, so you just say reversed values. Now, the difference here is that we don't apply to the actual list. So you don't uh, reverse the list unless you assign it. This just gives you a reversed version of the values list. So you can, of course, go ahead and save it in the values list. You print it afterwards, and then you would have the same effect. Uh, actually, we need to typecast it first because we get an iterator. So we need to typecast into a list again. But as you can see, you get the same result. But the difference here is, of course, that you don't get the result if you don't assign it. So you just get the version, but the version is just there. It's not assigned. The reverse method that we looked at first uh, actually applies the the act of reversing the elements onto the list. And then the list is reversed, whereas this just gives you a reverse version of the list uh, and it doesn't reverse the actual list. So you can use it, you can assign it, you can process it, but it's not reversing the list directly. And you can see that because if I just run this, the list is not reversed. Um, but of course, as I said, you can just go ahead and say values equals and then it is reversed because you're overriding the old version of the list. And the last thing that you can do is you can go ahead and um, just use index slicing. So you can say values equals and then you can say um, colon colon minus one and you will have the same result. Uh, actually values and then the index slicing values. So as you can see, this is also a way to reverse the list. So you have the manual, uh, the manual reversing using a for loop, you have the reverse method, which actually changes the list, 
you have the reversed method, which actually gives you a reversed version. And you have this method here for reversing the list as well. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. Uh, also, make sure you subscribe to this channel in order to see more future videos for free. And other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.